Good afternoon, me, Colin here with TechOut, and today I'm doing my 24 hour update just as I said I would on iOS 26 Beta 2 here on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. I've been using this as my device for the past 24 hours ever since installing Beta 2. And uh, first things first, let's get over, let's get uh, on with some of the bugs that I've experienced over the past 24 hours. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be a comprehensive list um, of all the bugs that are out there because I've only been using this for a day, but these are ones that have jumped out, you know, right away. Um, first things first is my AirPods Pro 2 experienced an issue where they would not connect to the phone. And what I mean by that, if I go in here and say I choose to play on my AirPods when they're connected, they're not right now, but when they're connected, um, I could tap it and it would connect just like that. It would give the check mark and then it would go back to the iPhone speaker and it would never actually play through my AirPods. Now, I only had that happen with the AirPods Pro 2. Um, they are on the beta software as well, and they have since updated to the beta 2 that's available for them. So I'm not sure if that corrected the issue or if it's an issue within iOS. I haven't seemed to have that issue with my Maxes, though. They, they seem to be switching back and forth between all my beta devices just fine. Um, I was able to get them connected and seems to have resolved the issue um, by restarting my phone. But somebody on X did say that it uh, happened to them and there's kept doing it after a while, even after restarting their phone. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, battery life, I've been on and off the charger today, just in my car, on my uh, wireless charger that's in my car and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, I've dropped about 10% in the past hour um, with some mixed usage on my device. Um, but battery life does seem to be a little bit improved over beta one, it's still obviously not there yet. Um, we still have a bunch of time for improvement and a bunch of room for improvement on the battery life. Um, but other than that, not too bad. As you can see, it's about 96 degrees here right now. It was probably closer to 98, 99 earlier with a real feel of 113 currently. And I've been using my iPhone outside some today and it does not seem to be overheating as much as it was on beta one. Um, obviously the outside temperature is going to make the phone hotter, but it seems to be able to maintain a lower temperature now uh, to where the screen only dimmed a couple times uh, in direct sunlight with some moderate usage. So that's good to see. We do have, of course, the new control center here. Um, mixed reviews about that. Some people are uh, you know, talking about how iOS 26 and the liquid glass uh, theme and design has kind of already gone away. Um, it's more of a matte, matte glass now than it is liquid glass and see-through and all that kind of stuff that we saw you know, in the preview. But it looks like after that, Apple kind of realized, wait a minute, this is kind of hard to see. You know, people were complaining about that, so they kind of met us in the middle there uh, so far. Obviously, obviously, this is only a beta 2, um, so we may, may see more changes there uh, with the actual look and feel of liquid glass and how they go about doing that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, this is beta 2. We still have a bunch of betas, you know, a couple months left to go before this is released to the public. So there is a bunch of stuff that is subject to change. Um, everything else though has been pretty good. I haven't really had any issues, no crashes, no restarts or anything like that here on uh, beta two thus far. Again, only the second day or only the first day technically with 24 hours in. Um, I did check here, let me move this so you don't see all my card details and stuff. Um, the new order tracking thing in the wallet. I do have that turned on where it's supposed to pick up uh, tracking numbers and stuff like that from your mail app. Um, I have a few different tracking numbers. I had a USPS order as well as some Amazon and Best Buy orders. Um, in my mail, um, some that were already existing and then some that were new since installing iOS 26. And as you can see here, it did not pick up any of those. Um, some people it was showing Amazon orders, uh, like food orders, all this kind of stuff and mine didn't pick up anything. So I'm not too sure what's going on there, uh, but it did not pick up anything. So keep an eye on that and see if anything pops up. It would be nice to be able to track all my orders and see all the, the tracking details for different carriers right there in the wallet app without having to check my email and go to USPS or UPS or a bunch of carrier websites and stuff like that. Uh, that'd be a really cool feature to have actually work uh, because that one feature or that one order right here was from Ridge back in April. That's the only order I've ever had since this feature was announced um, years ago that has actually come up in the wallet app. So uh, need that to actually work, that'd be nice. But everything else has been pretty good. It seems to be pretty smooth. Um, there's been some stutter and some lag here and there, but. Um, again, with the heat and stuff like that, I'm kind of cutting a little bit of a break, uh, but it's it's definitely a lot smoother, more fluid than beta one. Um, and we have things that are more animated as well than beta one that have uh, have been corrected. So that's beta two right now. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below.